hey guys this is Kony here from tech for joy and uh, i think that redmi 2 prime is a budget killer in the smartphone market right now but let's review a device which is quite similar to that device so here's the review of lenovo a6000 plus let's get started this device is quite similar to the device that is the redmi 2 prime it has the same processor, same amount of RAM, same GPU, same display, same camera and the build quality is also quite similar. But the design is better than the Redmi 2 Prime. So let's find the difference between these two or you can say this is the review of A6000 Plus. The A6000 Plus is a budget device which is priced for around 7500 rupees in India. The software experience on this device is good. The Vibe UI is good but I am now moved to the Google Now launcher because I don't like the Vibe UI. The form factor is good you can reach every corner of the device. It has a 8 megapixel back facing camera with flash and uh, scanning microphone although the performance of the device is quite good apps open up quicker thanks to the 2 gigs of ram and the snapdragon 410 chipset which is a quad core chipset based on 1.2 gigahertz multitasking is good but the only problem i have noticed on this device is that the proximity sensor remains on yes you heard right the, it remains on always but if you turn off the screen then the proximity tense sensor also turns off web browsing is better than the a6000 the form factor is good on the right side we have the volume rockers along with the power button which are Okay, I would say on the top we have the 3.5 m headphone jack along with the micro USB port on the left side we have nothing on the back we have the Lenovo prodding with the camera and flash scanning microphone and the dual Dolby Atmos sound speakers on the front we have the 5 inch display which is a 720p HD display colors are good enough wing angles are great now talking about the camera, the camera is a 8 megapixel shooter which can take good shot in outdoor lighting but in indoor lighting you can't get that amount of lighting, saturation etc on your image. But you have a lot of modes and effects, Nino has provided us with a lot of effects like sepia, black and white, negative. HDR etc. But I did all my testing in the normal mode or you can say the auto mode. So let's switch back to lower mode. You also do also have the panorama mode so you can take wider shots. Now talking about the camera settings, you can adjust the ISO white balance and you can adjust the image quality to super fine and you can also adjust the exposure HDR mode you can turn on the HDR mode and the video you can shoot is the higher mode that is provided is the 720p video so you can shoot up to 720p from the front and the back facing camera The software experience good apps open up quicker. Web browsing is also good. It also had a inbuilt task manager and it's running Vibe UI. So let's let me take you to the Vibe UI's home screen. Now this is the Vibe UI screen. You can look at the launcher, it has no app, app uh, drawer. You also have the option of choosing themes. 
but you can't download more themes from any store or something like that you can add home screens to the launcher but i hate that fact that the chinese provider the chinese provider does not provide us with the app drawer now this device is running right now lollipop 5.0.2 but it comes with kitkat out of the box so you have to update it i updated this device and the update was of 1.1 gb so that's huge because it's a custom ui but the us is fast fluid but if we had the stock ui then that is better than this customized ui because i that like that more you do also have the google apps the google now launcher which i installed personally but you have also the all of the google apps that is the google maps and all of the things that is chrome now the storage you get is about 12 gb you get about 11.85 gb available out of the box and you can de delete some bloatware apps and you will get about 12 gb free space and the out of the box ram free you free is about 1.2 gigs so that is good so yeah it's a good device from lenovo it is a competitor to the redmi 2 prime so yeah that's review of this device that is the Redmi 6000 plus hope you like it and please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one